Altrincham nil, Barnet two, three points, two goals, one clean sheet. Dean, what's your thoughts on that? To be honest with you, I thought very mature performance by us. Um, we set up a certain system and then we had to change it because they were sort of haunting us in the wide areas. We knew in wide areas, 2v1 would haunt us. Um, but we tried to shut that down early doors. Um, I didn't think we started the game the brightest, to be honest with you. So the first time Nicky held her up was the 18th minute. He held her up for us. Uh, Gorma played a great ball down the outside for Brady to get in a race. And Ryan de Havilland has just made the six-yard box. Great cross, great goal, really. Um, a lot he had saves to make when he had to, but very mature performance by us and uh, great to get a clean sheet. We'll start with that first goal. Uh, Sam Beard's excellent run down the left uh, and then surpassed the across to Havilland. How How's it having him back in and putting in a shift like that? Yeah, Beardy did well, to be fair. Like I say, he's been out for six or seven weeks, so he's come back and he's just got to find his feet again. Um, he's honest. Uh, he still has to improve in his game, especially defensively. A couple of times he let them on, let them on the inside, which is something he's got to improve at. Um, but look, all in all, I thought it was a good team performance. We did the basics better when Nicky got hold of the ball for us. It allowed us to bring our sort of wing backs into play, and then when we did change and got wingers, it allowed us to do that as well and bring them into play. So, so everybody put a great shift in, not just Beardy. Um, everybody, even the lads, Holly come off the bench and gave us a little bit of maturity. Um, and he just gave us a little bit more goil, allowed us to keep the ball better because they were asking questions of us. They made their substitutions as well. So um, just a really good team performance, really. And great to score from a corner again with some brilliant deliveries. Harley put in some lovely ones. So did Gormo. With some good, to be fair to their goal, he made an unbelievable save from Daly Collins to, to make it 2-0. And then obviously Danny eventually has got his goal, uh, which he's been due a long time. He's, he's had a lot of effort from, from the attacking restarts. And uh, yeah, he's got his goal now. So yeah, we're really happy and uh, we're buzzing, really. It's a great victory. As you say, the set pieces and the deliveries have been really good today. And as that goal in the end, how was it? Uh, good for it? Yeah, look, listen, we've got quality. You've got Gormans, you've got Halls, you've got Beards, you know, especially Gorman and Hawley. They've got some, even Pritchard's got great delivery. Um, and so, yeah, look, we've got a lot of quality. The main thing for us is that we have to keep growing as a team. Um, and that's so important. And that's it. even Julie there, I thought we played really well against Chelmsford. Um, but in the cup, you need breaks need luck and we're going to need that when we play them next week because you know you even look at so many games in that competition where it's all a, a bit of luck and we never put the game to bed but it's all just so mature today uh, and Laurie made good saves when he had to so that helped as well so um, a good all-round team performance and a great away day and I have to say our supporters 26 of them come up here there's a couple more in the main stand which I just spoke to I want to thank them for the support because the effort to come up here is outstanding um, it just shows you how much they love our football club and uh, we have created that together and it's, it takes time and uh, they've backed me brilliantly just like it, sort of the chairman's backed me as well so nights like tonight you know it's for them it's tough 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 journey for them especially there's train strikes there's, you know you've got protests going on in the M25 and craziness like that so all in all you know it's a, it's a great evening for, a, for, a, for our football club. We do have a good set of fans at this club. Uh, late on, Rob Hawke has got received some nasty challenges. Is he all right in the dressing room? Yeah, Harley's good as gold. He's brave. He gets on the ball. That's what he does. So um, he's always available for the ball. Like I say, he just gave us that little bit more maturity. I thought it was important we get him on. Marv did a good job for the team. He's got a lot of energy, but he's still learning the game. Um, he's, he's come up a lot of divisions in the last few years, Marv. Um, he's come basically from step five, so step six, and then he's moved up. And, so we're still teaching him the game. Um, I thought he started brilliant. See how he closed down and stuff like that. He's got great speed. Um, but I just thought making that sub Harley would give us that little bit more maturity. A uh, tough test at Oldham next for the Bees. What's the preparations between now and Saturday? Yeah, look, um, yeah, the lads will have tomorrow off. Um, then we'll come in towards, they come in Friday, and we're travelling up on Saturday morning. Um, so, yeah, look, look, we prepare for every game, professional in our approach. And, you know, we look forward to that challenge. I watched Oldham against Wrexham on the telly on Sunday, and um, they've got some squad, haven't they? They've got an array of talent, an array of players, a lot of experience. So it's going to be a really tough game. Um, I don't know how they got on tonight, so um, we'll watch that back tomorrow if it goes on the platforms we use. So, yeah, look, we'll go there with a the game plan. We'll see how the boys recover, and we'll probably have a really light week, to be fair. We'll do probably more just uh, technical stuff, to be totally honest with you. Dean, well done, and thank you for your time. Cheers.